So, what up YouTube, it's Luca, and welcome back to part 12 of the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival Series. In this episode, I think I'm gonna build a food farm using villagers. I think I've made the necessary precautions, so I'm not gonna stand here talking, I'm just gonna get straight in and onto the building. Alright, so first off, I want to build this farm over the water. So, um, hello. I'm going to have to build a bridge to it. So I fold off and made this really cool uh, bridge design that I'm gonna build. Where am I gonna build it? Yeah, over over here is fine. So I think, yeah, let's start here. So, we're gonna just start nice and simple like this. And then we're gonna go two up with the logs. Uh, then put a slab on top of them. And then, uh, yeah, put some slabs on them like this. Wait, no. Yeah, it was like this. It's been a few days since I thought of this and made it in my creative world, so... Um, I might have forgotten it a little bit. But that doesn't matter and I misplaced that. Alright, so, so now on, on these higher... The higher parts of the bridge, we're gonna put some fences so you can't just run up and walk off because that would be bad and then I'm gonna put a lantern on there and over there so pretty much this is the beginning of the bridge and so let me allow me to explain to you how it's gonna go from here on out so from here oh I placed it wrong and I don't have my axe with me. So I'm just gonna break it like this. So from here we're gonna put some oak stairs like this. And then we're gonna come in again with these uh, these logs. And I accidentally misplaced that one as well. So I'm gonna break it with my fist again. Two up once again. And then again put a slab on it and on this one as well and then like that so it looks like stairs but it just really is just stairs plus slab so I'm gonna destroy this with my bare knuckles as well and this one too There we go, and now create the. God damn it! All right, now create the part that is higher. There we go, and now we just repeat the same process we did here, and then another time, and then once we're all done, it should look a little bit like this. I th I think this actually looks really cool. Especially for a swamp environment. I think this looks insane. Like, let me walk on it. Yeah, but when you walk on it here, it doesn't look like all that special. But once you take a step back and look at it from the side, it's pretty impressive, I think. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the outskirts of the farm. So I already calculated it, or let me explain, I built the farm already in my, in one of my PlayStation survival worlds, and it, over there it worked really well, if I do say so myself, 
but uh, the size of the farm, the part of the dirt, the dirt where the crops are actually uh, actually being farmed, measures out to be nine by nine. So this area, uh, some some of it is not used, some of it is occupied. I will show later in the video, but. Uh, which means the outline has got to be 11 one extra so we also can round up you know the other outside or does this make sense what I'm saying I'm just gonna fill this out and shut up alright so I'm now done doing doing that and I do think it's kind of funny that this mushroom fits exactly in, so I'm gonna have to cut it all down. <laughs> it's not funny, this is a whole bunch of extra work for me. Oh well. Alright guys, I filled everything in and... This looks pretty impressive. Granted I'm not gonna be using all of it. It's, this still looks like it can uh, supply a fair yield. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath. This this looks horrendous. So I'm going to fill this in with uh, smooth diorite slabs. I think it would be cool if I did this. I mean, does that look good? I guess that looks kind of cool. That's only going to be around the pillars though. So... I feel like... By the way, I'm, I'm not going to be talking about Minecraft now, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good on the channel right now. I mean, granted I don't really upload a whole lot of spontaneous stuff. I have three, I would say, worth, worthwhile uh, series, series running now. Uh, first of all, of course, this series, the Minecraft Pocket Edition survival series uh, second of all the minecraft skyblock series that i literally just started off and third of all of course the ocean is home series the survival series so and i feel like i'm not gonna be doing much else for well for as long as those series are going to be running because I've had a lot of fun with them, I really did. And of course, I take this series, this series I take very seriously. Uh, the Minecraft Skype log uh, was kind of meant to be a joke series, like me just messing around with everything you can do in there. And I think Ocean is Home is kind of a weird series because I originally started it as a meme series kind of that's why uh, I don't really invest a whole lot of time in making thumbnails for that series but I've been really enjoying that game so that kind of transitioned from a meme series into a really serious series So, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like I just need to mention that, that I'm not going to be doing much else on the channel as long as those series are around. And that I've kind of, I already had, since the zombie episode, by the way you should watch that, since the zombie episode of the Ocean is Home series, I, I'm already kind of starting to take that series more seriously let me see is that gonna drip out from under no it's not that's good but yeah I, uh what was i saying since yeah since already since the zombies episode i'm starting to take ocean is home more seriously and i really want to do everything you can do in this game in that game so yeah just a heads up for that so now we've just uh, covered up all the dirt underneath as you can see and i've placed a composter and a water source directly in the middle 
Uh, so now I'm gonna build the walls. I'm gonna build them out of uh, white stained glass. And um, I feel like I'm gonna have to go mining for quartz again. Because, well, um, I'm planning to build to for this construction to contain a whole lot more quartz. And uh, the current supply is, uh, it's not looking so hot. I kind of think it's funny how, uh, sorry, excuse me, I am now mining for more quartz in the nether. By the way, before I moved on, uh, in part 10 with the ender dragon, we lost all, all my good gear. Also my fortune free pickaxe, so in my desperation for trying to mine nether quartz without going insane, I've had to uh, put up with this thing. It's not bad, but it's not good. Hello, Mr. Guest. Could you please leave me alone? But I just think it's funny how I over... Uh, I severely undershot the amount of quartz that I needed. While severely overshot the amount of glass that I needed. Because the glass is pretty much done. Well, I mean, there's still a semi-big opening. So that I can, you know, get in here. Or get in there. Or, well, whatever. But, yeah, it's pretty much done. And I still have two and a half stacks left. Of four stacks. I just think that's funny. And mining in other quartz will never get not tedious. Alright, so this is how it currently looks. Looks very modern. I wanted it to be very open. So that's why, but now... Uh, I've already thought about the lighting for this place because honestly we don't want zombies spawning with our villagers so let's get everything I specifically put those slabs under it so that I could do this this uh, lighting thing so we can put a redstone torch on there put a pillar of quartz there and a redstone lamp let's redstone lamp gets illuminated and then we just decorate it, get a bit more. Um, get out of here, chicken. Put some buttons on there, just for decoration. Uh, we do that here as well, because of symmetry. And then we do that pretty much on all sides. Except for this one, because that side's gonna be a little bit tedious. Guys, um, I think I overlooked a flaw with the design here. Alright, so now it's time I put in the chest. You know, where the actual loot is going to come in. And I just realized before starting the recording that... Uh, I this I placed this one, one too high. Or one too low, one of the two. I placed it not on the level where it should be, so I'm gonna have to do some uh, some interesting uh, things. So, which means the chests are gonna be here. They should be on top of here, but I already said I messed up. So, then we we're gonna have hoppers. Going from the chest, and then like that, and now we just need to fill fill in the gaps. Oh, but the thing is, I can't place redstone tor torches here, can I? Because they will lock the hoppers. Wait, hang on, let me throw something in here. Yeah, see, they get stuck in there. Alright, that's something I haven't thought of. Um, I mean, I haven't seen the place at night yet, so... I'm gonna have to see if the... If these lamps provide enough uh, light to illuminate the, all this too. Um... But basically, let's just fill fill in this place.
So basically, I haven't really explained yet uh, how the farm actually works. Now, you know what? That, that looks fine. But I haven't explained yet how the farm works exactly. So, in here, there's going to be one villager. Just cramped in here in this one by one. Over here in the free space, there's going to be a farmer walking around. And pretty much he's going to be harvesting the wheat, going to his composter, making bread, then attempting to throw it at the other villager. But then the hopper picks it up and then it comes in here. It gets to the chest. Sounds ridiculous and way too easy, I know. But trust me, it actually works. So, right now I'm just constructing the holding chamber. Um, yeah, let's just use the slabs. Uh, maybe, maybe not that one. There still needs to be room for the villager to get in there. But... Yeah, pretty much this is the holding chamber and maybe I can put some... Uh, I don't know, some torches in here. Sure, why not? Just making sure this is illuminated. But now I think all that there's left to do is, uh, is fill in the roof. And now that I think about it, I'm actually happy, happy that I did made so much glass because I want to make the roof entirely out of glass as well. So, yeah, good play on my part, I guess. Quickly before we, we go, uh, oh yeah, first off, I need to, uh, I need to, uh, cover this up. We don't want people snooping under here and taking from our chest. There we go. Second of all, I, th I think it's, even if I do say so myself, because I built this, so of course I'm gonna think it's beautiful. But I think it's kind of beautiful how you go from this, you know, medieval style bridge to this quartz and modern farm. I just think that's beautiful and funny. I'm just gonna get to building and not think about it and make progress. Alright, so this is the build so far. I thought a roof of just, uh, what is this? White glass would be uh, a little bit boring, so I added some extra extra bits here and there but I think this is about as far as the farm goes all I need to do now is uh, get some uh, get a lot of wheat seeds plant those and then go and get the villagers and see if this farm also works in uh, in pocket edition so I think I'm gonna do that now also, I'm, I'm, I gotta have to wonder, um, where do I get so much wheat seeds? Because in total, this farm has 81 possible slots. Uh, of that you subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 81 minus 13 is... Uh, uh, 68 Where do I get that many seeds from? And there we go That should be everything So I got some of the seeds through uh, Raiding a village grow bed Some of them by just punching grass So I also got some weed Off of those villager grow beds So I guess I could give that to the villagers to see if the farm is actually working properly speaking of the villagers i think now the time has come to uh, get the villagers in here so i've got some uh, rail tracks stored so uh, i'm gonna make a track to get them up here and then drop them in through the roof there we go all right so this is track i'm gonna use to get the villagers on top so I can push them in from there. Um, 
since that one, the one video where I managed to trap this guy, this guy over here, I feel like I've learned a lot more about villagers and their behavior. So I should uh, be able to type change them correctly. I think this guy, when we brought him in, he was like a stonemason or a weaponsmith or something. But I think he changed to a butcher because he bonded with that, that smoker over there. So I'm gonna have to remove that. So that only the compost bins remain. So um, I'm go also gonna have to remove probably all these three down here. Can I get down here? Probably gonna have to remove these three. If I even have enough room for that. Oh god. Help, I broke my base. Right in the streaming rain, we got our first target. It's uh, it's the one for in the holding chamber. You know that one by one little room? Yeah, that's gonna be this guy. So you get in the minecart, good sir. No, no, not that way. And uh, you're gonna go on a very special journey. Come on. There he goes, and now the powered rails should take it from here. Yeah, yeah, he gone on top. And now we just need to position him so he falls in here. So a nitwit would be preferable for this because they don't have much of a use otherwise. Um, is this guy gonna fall? I think maybe if I place some walls here. There he goes. He is in. So now I just need to break him out of this mine minecart and I feel like the best way to do this is from down here hey buddy I, uh, I kind of need that thank you wait it probably it probably went down the hopper there we there it is so so immediately I'm starting to notice something that could potentially be a problem uh, this guy is down within the hopper so he isn't as tall as he maybe should be and that might intervene but I'm just gonna get a villager that can be turned into a farmer and pray that this all this works out also I should probably give the guy that is a farmer I should probably give him a bed because when they don't have a bed, at least on PlayStation, they, uh, the farmer goes, goes kind of crazy and doesn't want to do his work. So, yeah, let's grab a bed. Right, here's our second victim. He is a shepherd, but he should change into a farmer. Hopefully. I mean, there's nothing here. There's nothing keeping him from not being a farmer. Get out of the boat and into the minecart, young man. This 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 base needs you to become a farmer. Come on. Or the powered wheels will take it from here. They will not. He refuses to give up. Come on, come on. Wait, let's give him a little extra push. And there he goes. Come on. You're gonna drop in here and be a farmer. Right? So, um... Let's get him in here. Let's hope that once he's in the cage, he will change. I mean, I 
don't think the village is close enough for him to still retain his profession. Let's go, little buddy, into a uh, farm with you. So can I hit the minecart from here? I cannot, so I'm going to have to drop down here with him. Come on, change to a farmer. You know you want to, you got... Here, I got a bed for you. Oh wait, I need to stomp on this patch of ground. There you go, you got, you got a bed now. Be a farmer. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he's a farmer. Alright, now the thing that's gatekeeping us all. Alright, he's harvesting it. Grab the wheat. I am going to search for a method to get out of here. Um, how do I get out of here? Wait, did he just throw bread at the other guy? Hold on, this farm might already be kicking it into high gear. Um. Oh, do, do you need seeds? Here, I can... I have seeds for you. Um. Here, grab the seeds. At least they interact with each other. That's, that's a step forward. How do I... How do I get out of here without destroying the crops? Oh wait, this button has to go as well. Alright guys, I'm out. Alright, so... Uh, I, do I have my... I do have my hole with me. So I can hold that. So then he hopefully will do that. Uh, he will do his thing. Also, I gotta place the button back. But now comes the scary part. Will the farm actually work as I intended to? Maybe not yet because it is. But he seems to be doing his job alright. I mean, there's bread in here. So the farm is actually working. As long as he just continues farming those... Uh, that wheat, then he's going to produce a constant amount of bread. So I think we have confirmation. I'm just going to clean all this up and when, I, when I'm back we'll see if he uh, has thrown any more bread at his fellow villager. Alright, let's see if Buddy has already thrown more food. Yes, he has. Three more bread. So, um, if this is anything like the PlayStation version, this is going to go uh, a bit slow for a couple of Minecraft days and then this guy is just gonna kick it into high gear. I literally have three stacks of bread in the chest on, with the PlayStation farm right now. So, uh, next episode, uh, we'll see how many is in here. So that's where I'm gonna leave this episode of the Minecraft Pocket Edition survival playthrough. This has been a really successful episode and I'm really glad because I was so nervous going into this without doing any testing on the Pocket Edition version. But we managed to build a quite good looking farm, if I do say so myself, with uh, the villager in there working hard as you see but yeah tune in next episode to see what i'm gonna be doing then also check out my other series i hope to see you all in a good mood in the next video i'm gonna go now and from me and my two slaves i guess goodbye everyone